Well, as a, a resident of North Idaho, I don't want refugees from Syria uh, being resettled here because we've seen what has happened all over the world where refugees from Syria and some of these other troubled spots in the Middle East go, whether it's Germany, whether it's Sweden, whether it's France. We've seen uh, crime and in particular, we've seen a huge upsurge in rapes where Sweden at one time had one of the lowest crime rates in the entire uh, industrialized world. But today they've got a horrible rape epidemic and it's not the indigenous population, but it, it's the, the refugees that are accounting for almost all the increase in rapes. And so, and of course, what happened here in Idaho where we had that situation in Twin Falls, where a five-year-old girl was sexually assaulted by three refugees Islamic refugees from the Middle East. Ultimately, if, if, for example, if a state like California wants to accept refugees, then let them accept refugees. But I believe it should be a state decision that if a state does not want to accept, accept refugees, or if a local community does not want to accept refugees, they should not have to. The federal government, but as it stands today, the federal government can force any community all over America to accept refugees from the Middle East, even though they don't want them. So you have a, a country like Saudi Arabia, which is right near Syria, uh, a country like Saudi Arabia, which is Sunni Muslim, and the vast majority of these refugees, a lot of them are Sunnis, and uh, where, uh, the Saudi Arabia is saying, no, we don't want any refugees. Stay out, we don't accept any. Instead, they're bringing them halfway around the world to the US and then the federal government forces our communities to take these refugees when we don't want them. But I say the people of Idaho should be able to decide whether we want Islamic refugees or not. We don't want the federal government forcing us to take refugees whether, and we get no say in the matter. The people of Idaho need should have control over their own destiny if we, if we don't want to take refugees from the middle east we should not have to take refugees from the middle east you know or the federal government's imposing these extremely expensive federal mandates on us we want to bring that to an end no more federal mandates no more federal government telling us okay you've got to do things a certain way and then you've got to spend money to do these things